Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1987 here with another Common Rider Ghost Roleplay Review. Today I'll be looking at the Condor Denma, or Condor Phone as it was also called. As you can see here, it is clearly an old, early 20th century style rotary phone, inspired by the, yeah, Condor Bird. So, there's no wires or anything on this thing, and no internal electronics, but you can easily remove the receiver and then reposition it like so. Mushy mushy. And put it back down. The, yeah, little notch here goes onto this tab on the top of the body. For size comparison, here it is with the Ghost Driver belt with the Robin Hood icon installed. And the Gun Gun Saber in its large blade configuration. To transform the Condor Denma or Condor phone into its Condor mode, first remove the receiver piece, then flip the whole thing upside down, fold out the wings, unfold the extension piece over top like so, then rotate the receiver piece like this and flip these two clips into these two bits here, like so. And here we have the Condor phone in its Condor form. Articulation-wise, the wings can fold backwards for the transformation. There's a rotation at the neck, or at the base of the neck like so, for another transformation I'll get into in a moment. And for one form or another, the yeah, neck can also be positioned with these hinges like so. You can even bend it all the way back like that if you want. Now, this is one of the Ghost Gadget animals that combines onto the Gun Gun Saber to create a new weapon form for the, yeah, Carmen Rider Ghost Robin Hood dial machine form specifically in this form. I also forgot to mention the rotary dial on the chest is ratcheted. It doesn't wind back to the last number you used like a real rotary phone would have, but obviously for the engineering for that spring-wise, they'd obviously have to reconfigure the whole thing. So, in order to turn this thing into the crossbow mode of the Gun Gun Saber for the Robin Hood form, first decap the paper bird like so, then turn the Gun Gun Saber on and turn it into its uh, blaster configuration. So, press this button on the back, slide this piece off, reverse it, and slide it back on again. Then, Press this I spring loaded button at the bottom here to rotate the handle downwards. Then take this piece of the condor phone and slide this mechanism here onto this rail of the barrel end of the Gun Gun Saber Blaster Mode. It's not easy to line these things up on camera at arm's length, but I'll do my best. Bear with me. And before I click it into place, straighten out the condor head and attach it at the opposite end to form the, yeah, arrowhead component, like so. Click it in and... And now we are in the Robin Hood dumb machine form, Gun Gun Saber arrow form. So, press the trigger and... Headphone warning for those watching on mobile phones. This is a very shrill sound effect. So, as you can see, the Gun Gun Saber's lights turn green because of the Robin Hood Dalmachy form. And there's a very high pitched screech of the Condor as well. Then, that's not all. We can also use the Ghost Driver to activate the magnetic eye contact finisher attack. It doesn't have to be switched on the ghost driver for this to work, so again headphone warning and fictional firearms warning for those watching. So that more or less concludes 
me, yeah. Review of the Condor phone, I have been Sandblaster 197. Just one quick thing before I end the review. In order to dislodge the Condor phone safely from the Gangon Saber, you have to use this green button above the rotary dial to dislodge the clip that keeps it on the rail like so. And then, this second green latch underneath here is what dislodges the Condor head from its current position to make it safe to remove without damaging the clips. So, with that said, that concludes the review. I have been Soundblaster1987. Thanks again for watching, and I'll join you next time when I'll be reviewing the Robin Hood Damaging Icon in the Ghost Driver belt. Till then, till all are one.